what's going on Beowulf Nation? It's I'm Beowulf back at it with another video. As you can see, I already got the Yamaha GP1800R 2019 in the water. i uh, leaving this one out today. But it's crazy, it's nobody's here. So when nobody's here, this is like, just park it right here because nobody else is coming before it gets dark. It's Halloween, so look outside. It looks all gloomy, but it's like, 86 degrees outside right now. Um, had to go riding. Figure, hey, let's go up for a ride um, and enjoy the nice weather because it's supposed to be like in the, I think another couple days of 70s and it's going to be the high around 60s and kind of stay at that. It's crazy because other parts of the United States, like I was talking, my family, they're getting like tons of snow right now in Illinois and it's like, it's hot out. <laughs> It doesn't look all perfect, but I'm like, I gotta go out and go riding. I was earlier, there was like some scattered thunderstorms. That's why I didn't go out earlier. But hey, I can't complain. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I'm Beowulf. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also too, if you haven't, gave me a follow on Instagram. It's I am underscore Beowulf. Also make sure to check out the I am Beowulf merch at IamBeowulf.com. Got 10% off when you use code AllCatsBeowulf. Uh, check it out at IamBabel.com. Also, too, I have an Amazon store, and that's where it's hard to see what the camera be in 360, but I upgraded different tie-downs to my train trailer, uh, different accessories, camera gear, like what you're watching right now is all on my Amazon store. That's Amazon.com slash shop slash IamBabel. Make sure to check it, check it out. Also, too, like my um, waterproof... My waterproof bag that I use. I'll do a whole review and talking about this because I've been using this for a couple of months now, probably six months or so. Love the thing. Um, but got the G ball locked up. Uh, but it's time to go riding, and I'm excited. And it's it's always good to get some riding in. Doesn't matter how long it is. It can be 20 minutes. Be a couple hours. To me, I'd rather ride than not ride. And it's crazy coming here when like, nobody's here. It's a nice day. Figure people would be here, but yet it's Halloween. This is just, man, what was that jumping out? I've seen this before. What is that? Man, did you guys see that? What the heck? It has to be like some otter-like thing alligator what was it that was a pretty decent size there's a bird right there what is that see that oh man huh wonder what that is definitely don't want to be going swimming finding out man it looked like some type of like muskrat otter thing i've seen it before but it's like i don't know Woo. Man, once I got a stand up, man, it's gonna be a whole new world of coming in here. So, enough chitty chatter. Let's get this thing all hooked up and give you guys some awesome get jet ski content. All right, so it's crazy. I got almost 24 hours. So, I think at 25, I've already picked it up. I'm gonna do another oil change on this. I'll do a whole video for you guys too with this. Um, but I'm not gonna change the filter. I'll change the filter 50 hours because I changed the filter originally. I think it's when I hit like, it was whatever the break-in period they required. It was like five, 10 hours. I um, replaced the filter and changed the oil on it. It's hard for me to remember. I recall I did a video about that when it was when I did the uh, reflash with the Map Tuner X through Revo Racing on there. But I got a set of spark plugs that I'm gonna change uh, 25 hours. I already got that picked up. And I got that all, it's all listed on my Amazon store. Like I said, amazon.com slash shop slash I am Baywolf. All the stuff's on there, so actually if you're looking for what spark plugs you need for your GP1800R, uh, it's on there. I got a link with it under that description. I have in all different categories, so check it out. Same with the oil, the oil filter. Uh, it's all on there. It's a whole kit too where you get all of them at once too if you want to do it all um, yourself. I change, I do all the maintenance myself. I don't go to the dealer. I've not ever once been to the dealer with any of my skis, um, but should, I'm doing the maintenance. I do it all myself. So. Um, gonna do that spark will change the oil put some fresh oil in it and um, that's where the plan is so I was kind of waiting to once I hit 
25 hours with doing that so i don't want to do it sooner just i mean it's just like another what two hours on the machine so um space it out button up chitty chatter we are out of the no wake zone and time to tear up this beast the north myrtle beach south carolina intercoastal waterway is all to myself love it awesome hot out the water is all to my own no complaints coming this way smile on my face
tell you guys, this thing is just so much fun to ride. Yeah, always people, you know, ask, you know, pretty much between the skis, you know, because I know the RXTX put like a hundred hours on that thing. And I got the RXPX GP1800R. I have to tell you, it's like, this thing is a blast to ride, but it's very physical. Uh, any of them, it's none of it. You ride them like those maneuvers, a lot of it's balance. You have to have the right stuff on like, you know, some type of water, shoes, gloves. It's all about like grip, like grip holding the, the handlebars, the feet sliding. Cause it's hard to tell. I adjust my feet a lot in here. There's this thing jet trim cells. They're kind of more tighten up my feet, similar to what the Sea Duke um, comes with, like on the RXPX. Um, but it's kind of like a lot of adjusting. But it is physical. I mean, if you you know you have to be somewhat in shape. Like if I go to the gym and really hit it hard and come out here riding, it really hurts doing it because it's just like you already put a lot of strength in. And uh, some of those ones, it, it just might not seem like it, but it, it's physical when you're coming out here. So always think of that, you know, with it. But this thing is just a blast to ride. Out of all of them, the entry when you turn, it just, it's a big ski, but when you're riding it, it just doesn't feel like a big ski. That's what the thing, it was like that when it was stock. And then once I put the Riva sponsors on, cause I got it all the way down in race mode. It, I mean, it's, it's agile. It's definitely, you got somebody in the back, you kind of horse around, either they're coming off or you're going with them because it is, it's pretty precise. And that's just how I like it. It's even the same with vehicles. Like I couldn't see me just driving and like, I'd hate to say this. I couldn't see me driving like a normal vehicle because like when I'm in my Jeep SRT, I have it in track mode. I like this like race feel all the time. Except for I'm pulling with the trailer, it has a tow mode. And I just do that so the gearing's more all correct for when you're pulling. Otherwise, I would leave it in track mode. Um, but even sometimes when I back up in the boat ramp, because it puts it almost like at a 50-50 lock when it's in tow mode, I do put it in track just so I have a little bit more agile with it. But even the Hellcat, it's always in track mode. Even when it rains, I put it in, leave it in track mode. It's just it's how I just roll. So it's just full race. 24 7 even if you're driving normal it's just how i like it's just a certain feel like it's hard to describe it's just like how i love riding and uh man it's just like here's a little patch sun and like storm there a storm there just totally lucky but it's like this is just paradise i love it when you come out here and there's just there's just nobody out because then it's just you can do what you want because the whole time you always see me turn my head because i'm always keep an eye on what's going on just because I don't want to hit somebody or somebody hit me uh, crazy story with that I'll do in a future video my my mom and my uh, grandpa he's not alive anymore uh, and her brother my uncle they got a bad boating accident back when she was in high school and uh, it happened in Illinois in the Fox or the Fox chain of lakes and I'll, next time she's in town I'll have her tell the whole story because it's like I don't want to tell the story wrong but uh, basically long story made short like this guy's drunk nearly hit her when she was on water ski and then the boat jumped and the propeller on the boat when it jumped like cut my gra grandpa's skull open and he had like a steel plate in his head and stuff and uh it's some crazy stuff so definitely growing up around that i've been always you know kind of like since i was a kid the kid always you know about being safety and all that because it's somebody can get really hurt and uh anywhere you ride and it's not like an ambulance is coming out here or something happens so definitely always be a little careful when you're out riding and whatnot i always pay attention head on a pivot always be you know because somebody can just come out of nowhere and you wouldn't even know it there's there's you know stuff that happens all the time so always be aware even when you're out here nobody's out here you just never know better to be safe than sorry today's knowledge brought to you by they will
shark we got pike all tactical tacticaled out what do you think we're on sunglasses goggles pike what is it kind of different seeing around you're like what is the deal future stuff for jet skiing with the dogs uh got those and uh yeah they're all excited to dress up and then they're like we gotta go somewhere <laughs> they're like we don't want to just go to the garage 